हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू दी कम्पेलर डिजन सब्जेक्ट एंड नाउ वी आर इन द थर्ड यूनिट एंड गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वेरियस बॉटम ऑफ पार्सर्स हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द बॉटम ऑफ पार्सर्स कंप्लीटली एंड द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस इज टू अंडरस्टैंड वाट आर द बेसिक्स ऑफ बॉटम ऑफ पार्सर एंड द टाइप्स ऑफ बॉटम ऑफ पार्सर्स एंड द आउटकम इज आफ्टर कंप्लीशन ऑफ दिस सेशन you may learn about what is a bottom up parser and what are the various types of bottom up parsers and what is the need of bottom up parsers okay so a parser takes a set of tokens as we know this compiler is consists of the six phases the first phase is lexical analysis phase in the lexical analysis phase a stream of tokens are generated so we give the source code to the lexical analysis phase it generates a set of tokens it generates a set of tokens these tokens are given as input to the parser as shown in the diagram the source program is given here and it may be any source program like c c++ java or anything it is given as input to the lexical analyzer phase it generates a set of tokens but the parser can read one token at a time only one token then after processing it if there is any error it simply generates the error otherwise it calls the next token from the lexical analysis phase and a parser takes the token and it works on one symbol at a time okay then the output of the parser is a parse tree the output of the parser is a parse tree so what is a parse tree it is also known as syntax tree which can uh, graphically represents the derivation of the token come to this parsing it is of two types so first one is the top down parser and second one is the bottom up parser if it is a top down parser we are going to start with the start symbol of the grammar and we are coming down to generate my tokens so the token or the string is generated at the lower level this is known as the top down parser come to the bottom up parser we are moving with the, the string set or the token and we are going in from bottom to up direction up to the start symbol so in the previous sessions we completed the top down parsers but the top down parser is suffering from the various problems like backtracking left recursion left factoring and ambiguity so come to the bottom up parsing this is better than the top down parser because here no backtracking is there so no need of left recursion no need of left factoring and all so it is said to be the effective parser okay bottom up parsers uses a stack for the parsing and it uses two uh, operations for parsing the two operations are shift and reduce the two operations are shift and reduce and use as a stack okay come to the types of bottom up parsers this is mainly di divided into two types first one is the operator precedence parser and lr parsers operator precedence and lr parsers this lr parsers are furtherly divided into four types named as lr0 named as lr0 slr1 or it also called as simple lr and lalr named as look ahead lr and clr named as canonical lr as we discuss this top bottom up parser is not suffering from the left recursion or left factoring so it is better than top down parsers and in the lr we can say l means the we are going to read the tokens from left to, to right and this r stands for we are going to uh, perform the reduce operations from the reverse of the rightmost direction and 
we use as two actions known as shift and reduce. What is a shift operation? It takes the input token into the stack. So, shifting means we are pushing the input symbol to the stack and we are performing the reduce operation. What means? If the top of the stack is matched with the what the handle, then we are going to perform the reduce operation. So, here in this step, we are going to discuss about what is a shift step. This shift step refers to the advancement of the input pointer to the next input symbol. That means, if there is a string like id plus id. So, here this is my pointer, this is my pointer. So, if the top of the stack is matched with this particular pointer, then we are going to perform the reduction operation which is explained here. Terminologies of shift reduce parsers are the bottom of parsers. The first one is right sentential form. So, what is right sentential form? As shown in this on which string we are going to perform the bottom of parsing is called the right sentential form. And come to the viable prefix. So, it is the sequence of symbols on the parsing stack that means we are going to perform the shift operations to move the various input symbols onto the stack. Okay. So, which is known as the viable prefix and what is a handle? This is the most important thing here. A handle means the sign right sentential form plus the position where reduction can be performed and the production used for reduction. That means, if id plus id is there. So, this is my token or this is the string I want to generate and if my grammar is e tends to e plus e or id. Let us say this is my grammar. So, if I want to reduce anything, first I have to select what to reduce and then what is the production I have to use to reduce. These are to be noted. Here we are going to discuss about a handle and let us say this is my grammar consists of various productions and a grammar is defined g equal to some v t p s. Yes. So, v equal to variables here t the terminal speed the production rules and s is the start symbol. So, in this grammar my start symbol is s yes, and the various variables are capital A and capital B and the terminals are A, E, B, C, D. Okay. Then, if I want to perform the reduction operation to get the particular symbol or particular string A, B, B, C, D, E, then I have to take a particular production S tends to A small a capital A capital B and capital E. That means, here I am going to choose which production or what are the symbols I am going to perform the reduction operation and what is the particular production used for that particular reduction operation. So, here S tends to A B B E is a handle of this particular one. Okay. Then B tends to D is the handle of A A D. So, you can clearly observe in place of capital B we wrote the capital D. Okay. Because there is a production B tends to D. Then A tends to A B C is the handle of A A B C D. That means, here in the place of capital A, I wrote because there is a production A tends to A B C. That means, I am going to choose or I am going to select what is the production I have to use for this reduction operation. Come to this handle pruning. So, a rightmost derivation is reverse can be obtained by the handle pruning. Handle pruning means what I am going to perform the reduction on which string I am now I am going to perform the reduction operation using which production. So, what are the various accents associated with the bottom of parsers? The first one is shift operation, second one is reduce operation. So, simply I have to use a stack to perform this bottom of parser and the two operations are shift and reduce. If it is a shift operation, I am going to push the input symbols onto the stack. When I am going to perform the reduce operations, it is the 
pop operation I am going to perform from the term. So, what is the meaning of accept? So, if the parsing is successfully, if I am going to generate my token or string, then I can say the string is accepted by the parser. And the final one is error. So, what is this error? If the parsing is unsuccessful or such productions are not there to complete to generate my token, I can say it is the error. So, here this is the example for bottom up parsing. So, here the grammar is S tends to small a capital A capital B small e and capital A tends to A B C or B and finally, B tends to D. So, in this given particular grammar totally I have 1, 2, 3, 4 totally 4 productions I have. So, I have to use these 4 productions to generate my token or the string A, B, B, C, D, E. I want to generate this by using these 4 productions. So, let us start first I have to write A, B, B, C, D, E. So, I have to write A, B, B, C, D, E. Then I have to choose the first uh, symbol what I am going to be reduce. So, as shown in the here A, B, B, C, D. So, the B is reduced to A depend upon this production A tends to B. Depend upon the production A tends to B, I am going to reduce the B symbol. After then this A, B, C, A, B, C is going to reduce to capital A by using this A tends to A, B, C production. After that, or this particular D is reduced to B depend upon the B tends to D production. And finally, this is going to be reduced into S. Yes. So, this is the way how the bottom of parser is going to be performed. The two problems with the bottom of parser is, so the difficulty is to locate the handle. If we are not going to choose the handle or select the handle properly, we cannot generate the string in a successful way and decide which production to be used. Why? Because if there is a grammar like E tends to ID plus ID or ID minus ID or ID plus ID minus ID and I am going to generate that string ID plus ID. So, here the first symbol is id and the second symbol is place. So, if I am going to reduce this, so there are two productions associated with id place and id plus. So, here there is a confusion which production I have to choose, whether I have to choose e tends to id plus id or e tends to id plus id minus id. The two more problems associated with the bottom of parsers are the two problems are conflicts. That means, the possible errors in the bottom of parsers. There are two types of conflicts. First one is the SR conflict and second one is RR conflict. If it is a SR conflict, that means shift reduce conflict and if it is the RR conflict, it is reduce reduce conflict. We are going to learn about these conflicts in the next sessions. From this session, you are going to learn about what are the advantages of bottom of parsing and what is the terminology used in the bottom of parsing and the types of bottom of parsing.